Hey everyone, Carmela here. Today I want to talk to you about the flooring options out there. I know most of you know the regular ones like ceramic and carpet and wood, but there are some other options that you may not be aware of. I want to go over some of the pros and cons. I'm not going to go over every flooring option because there's quite a few out there out there, but I'm going to touch on one of the on some of the most popular ones. So the first one I want to touch upon is ceramic flooring. Ceramic is thin slabs of clay. Um, the pros with that is that it's extremely durable. It's relatively inexpensive to buy the tiles itself. Um, you can actually put ceramic on the wall as, as well as the floors. They're low maintenance and they have unlimited designs and colors. Um, with ceramic, you can get, you know, sky's the limit on design. Um, what are some of the cons? Well, the biggest one is it's cold under your feet. It's a hard surface. So if you want to walk barefooted in the wintertime, it's quite cold. Although nowadays they have heated floors, so may not, not be a, 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 a problem anymore, but it still is very hard on your feet. Um, it's difficult and very costly to install because you're looking... Um, at putting a subflooring, so you have to put some mud on it. They call it a mud floor. It's some sort of um, cement they put on there. It has to be leveled because if it's not and you lay your tiles on top of it, you will get cracks within a year. Actually, within six months, you'll, your floor will start to crack. So if it's not laid out correctly, you will get cracks. So it's costly to install. Um, the other problem with that is you have grout. Anytime you have grout, it can get dirty, especially if you have pets and you have kids or you spill something, the grout gets pretty dirty. Uh, you have to clean the grout and then you have to seal the grout. So even though the tiles may be easy to clean, the grout could be an issue. The other one I want to talk about is porcelain. So what's the difference between porcelain and ceramic? It's still a clay but it's a denser clay and it is fired at a higher temperature. So it's actually quite tougher. If you're gonna go between ceramic or porcelain, I highly recommend porcelain. The pros, again, it's the same as the other one. It's durable, it's scratch and stain resistant, just like ceramic. It's very easy to clean. It's the beauty, uh, beauty of the natural tile. You can actually replace ceramic and porcelain each tile if one tile should crack. You can replace it. It's not easy to do. You need some sort of tool. I think it's a Dremel. Don't quote me on that. You have to go around. You have to, you know, cut through the um, the grout. Then you have to gently lift it up to make sure you don't scratch the surrounding tiles. Then you have to lay out the mud again. You have to put the tile. You have to grout it, and then you want to seal the grout. So it's a process, but it's definitely something that you can do. Um, it's not easy, but it's it's definitely doable. So you can replace the tiles if they crack. Then you have natural stone. Love natural stone. It's also like ceramic and a porcelain. It's sturdy. It's sturdy. I'm sorry. It's durable. Nothing though, nothing beats the natural look of stone. It has great resale value. If you put stone on your uh, in your house on the floor, you will definitely get your money's worth. I mean, think about it. You got marble, travertine, granite. I mean, when you put that on the floor and you walk in, the beauty of stone, it's unparalleled. So it definitely has a greater resale value. So what are the cons to natural stone? Well, <laughs> It's expensive. And again, you have to install, install it properly. So again, you're looking at a mud floor. So you have to make sure that the floor is level because if it's installed incorrectly, it will crack. And those stone are not cheap. So you want to make sure that you're installing it correctly. Um, and then again, you have the same issues with the grout, right? So you now have the grout. So if your pet uh, pees on it, you know, the stain might be hard to get out. Once you get it out, so you have to clean it. Once you get it out, you have to reseal it because you certainly don't want to leave it unsealed. I'm sure you've walked into kitchens uh, or, and you see, you can tell where they are. If they have ceramic on the floor of porcelain, you can see right, right by the stove or right by the sink. The grout is always a little darker. And even though you have it professionally clean, it tends to stain over time. So that is always the biggest problem with that. The next one I want to talk about is laminated floors. I'm sure you all remember the laminated floors. It was probably popular somewhere in the 80s or the 90s. 
Pergolfloor, if I stand corrected. Remember Pergo floors when it first came out? Everybody wanted Pergo floors, right? What are laminated floors? Well, the laminated floors are made from compressed fiberboard. And, and they have a resin-based top coat for the protection. So you've got your fiberboard. And then they put a layer of a sheet that looks like wood because th that's what it is. It's, it's, it's a photographic sheet on top of the fiberboard. And then they put a resin-based top coat for the protection. And it was extremely affordable. It's very easy to install. It's a lot softer and warmer than ceramic or porcelain. And it's available in different colors and widths. And they're very easy to clean. And they resist stain. I mean, because, you know, it's a resin base, so it's really easy to clean. Uh, they were very popular, but uh, like I said, in the 80s and the 90s, but I think their time has come and gone. So what are some of the cons if you decide you want to put them in, you still want to put them in your, in your house? Uh, the biggest con is they're not real wood. And you can definitely tell that they're not real wood. It's um, If you get a cheaper grade of top coat, it will wear out. You'll actually see the wear patterns on it. So if you're going to go laminated, go with a better quality. Um, they are noisy. You hit a clackety clack every time you walk on it. It has a lower return investment. I don't know, for some reason, they've really gotten a bad rap over the years. People just don't like laminated floors. And I think of it... A lot of it came because of the noise level. People hated that noise. Um, you had to put an underlay on it. It's, it. It is a floating floor, so that's why you hear that noise. I think nowadays with some of the laminated floors, you might be able to get some cork on it, so that might help with some of the noise pollution, and they can't be refinished. And the biggest problem with laminated floors is, I once had it in my kitchen and I had um, some water problem and I wasn't home and when I came back because the water had been sitting on it for a while it actually expanded because it's it's compressed fiberboard it's particle board and you can't fix that you can try to replace the tile it's not always easy because it's got a click thing to it so to un click it and move it out. It's a little difficult to do. I'm sure it's possible, but if the water gets on it, if you have a major problem and get water all over it, you, you really have, you have to trash it and start all over again. So keep that in mind. The one that I really want, I'm excited about and um, that I want to talk to you about that a lot of my clients are unaware about is vinyl. I know when I say vinyl, everybody thinks about their grandma's vinyl when they used to roll it out. That was horrible. No, that's not the vinyl. These vinyls come in either a wood-like plank or they come in squares. I'm going to talk about the square ones first. The square ones look just like tiles. Some of them actually have, it's like two-dimensional. They actually have some grooves to it, like little valleys and stuff. It looks really like organic. Um, you glue it on your floor and then you... Um, when it was nice and dry, you take the grout and you grout it, and it actually will look like tiles. I actually have it in my old house. When people walk in, they always thought I had stone floor, and I said, no, it's vinyl. Uh, it was uh, very, very durable. It's 100% moist resistant and even waterproof, extremely durable. Uh, cuts out on the noise level. They have a wide range of color and sizes. They're very easy to install. And the best part is they can be installed over uneven subflooring. So if you have an area where your, your flooring is maybe a little uneven, they're fantastic. Even the ones, the tiles that you glue on it. The other vinyl is vinyl planks. It's also a click, like the laminated, uh, but they're 100% vinyl. Some of them come with cork backing, so it's very quiet. Um, it, it's great for basements if you have a basement so you don't have to worry and you get water in there sometimes you don't have to worry about it if you do get water you just simply lift up the tiles you let it dry and put it back down it is really a great product uh, it doesn't look cheap some of those vinyl tiles out there I swear when you put them down you won't know they're vinyl until you actually touch it I personally have recommended to many of my clients the last um, house that I worked on was a $1.5 million house in Roslyn and we put vinyl in her basement and it came out fabulous. So we're very happy with it. So what are the cons with vinyl? And there are cons. It fades in direct sunlight. 
but then again I'm pretty sure wood does that same thing ceramic won't but definitely the wood the wood wood will Ooh, that's a tongue twister it is not biodegradable so if you're environmentally conscious this is a product you probably won't like because it's not biodegradable it's vinyl it can be punctured by a sharp object um, so you have to be very careful but it's, it's not as easy to do but it can be punctured um, and it doesn't always look like wood the less expensive ones um, may not look like wood so you can see it so if you're gonna go with vinyl again like anything else go with a higher end I think you'll be happy with that the one I the next one I want to talk to you about is carpet now carpet is, uh, is it can be either natural or man-made fibers um, they either come in wool or man-made so the pros to it is of course it's extremely soft on your feet that's why they're so popular in the bedroom because when people get up they want to be able to get up on something that's warm and soft you have lots of colors and patterns um, you have your loot which is more of a commercial grade and then you have just you know the regular ones um, and the tighter denser carpet fibers will be much better um because they'll they'll wear better uh wool is extremely um um wear you can it, it extremely wear wearable i don't guess you want to say that it doesn't wear out it, it has a long uh, longevity to it um it's um handmade so it's um uh, it's handmade so it, it can be costly it's sound insulation um and it's carpet if it's not wool is relatively inexpensive the con to it well it, it it can stain even the ones that are stain resistant from um sorry about that even the ones that are stain resistant from um some stain master you if your dog pees on it or your cat pees on it you might not be able to get the stain out you're definitely going to have to worry about the odor on that because once it's in there it permeates and even though you get it professionally cleaned the the smell may linger um wool is is um beautiful it, it wears so you won't have that traffic pattern that you get from man-made uh, carpet i'm sure that when you walk into a room that has carpet you can see the foot traffic you know where the foot traffic is that's man-made you won't get that from wool it has great uh, longevity of it it doesn't have what they call the crush resistance from that foot pattern the one thing about wool is you have to worry about the stain if you spill something on it you almost have to get it professionally cleaned uh, you have to be very careful um, you have to blot out the stain you can't take water and wash it down you have to be really careful with wool uh, but it it, um, it also sheds it has a tendency to shed when you first get it it sheds a lot which is a real pain in the neck uh, New Zealand is the best um, wool that you can buy, purchase. It's it's more costly, but it, it really is the the um, the best wool you can buy out there. So uh, keep that in mind when persons purchasing um, your carpet. Wool is generally an area rug. It's not something you want to you want to put the wool to wool carpet. That's usually man made fibers. You don't really want to do that with wool because I'm thinking it's going to be astronomically expensive. So that's your pros and your cons for your uh, carpet. The other thing I want to talk to you about is wood. You have engineer wood and you have um, regular wood. Regular wood is pretty much like this. I do happen to have a sample to show you, which is good. And it's just, oh, that one's clipping, it's not. Uh, yeah, here we go. So it just kind of writes in here, like the laminated floors do the same thing. You can see it's nice and thick so you're able to sand it down a few times so if you like this color and then one year you decide uh, a couple few years later you don't want this color anymore you want to change up the color you can sand it down restain it refinish it it's great um nothing beats wood it holds its value in the resale uh, of your home unbelievable hardwood floors when you list your house and you put hardwood floors people just the buyers they love that so it definitely retains its value um, it is really um, an easy product to clean you just damp mop wash it you're done you're good to go I'm just trying to see all my notes here uh, sound insulation it's um, it, it's in it, it's um it's got great sound insulation and 
let me just think it it's a uh, it's a great product for it. uh there's there's more pros than there are cons but here are the cons if you've got animals especially dog and their nails they can definitely scratch it up so every once in a while you may have to refinish it uh seal it kind of thing maybe pull a coat of polyurethane because the dogs will scratch at it <sighs> if they pee and it purates Pumerates, uh, this, oh, sorry, if it sinks into the wood, sorry about that, um, you'll have a stain. It may not be easy to get out even when they sand it. It depends on how, um, how saturated gets into the wood. It may be difficult for them to sand it out. So if your dog or your cat uh, pees on it, you don't catch it right away, you definitely have an issue with that. The other one I want to talk about is engineer wood floor. So engineering floor is totally different than wood. Because the way engineering wood floor works, it's a lay, it's a couple of layers. It's a layer of uh, compressed uh, fiberboard, and then it's a thin wood veneer. Now, here's the trick with that wood veneer: there's different um, thickness to it, I should say. Some of the engineer wood floors, you can refinish it. You should ask them you'll get maybe one you won't get more than that because then it gets too thin and you'll start to see the uh, the sub the um, underneath the uh, underneath layer so you've got you've got the press wood and then you've got the thin layer of veneer and then you've got a top coat on that so what's nice about that is um, with wood you need a subflooring to lay it over it so you have to make sure that your subflooring is good you can't put wood over cement but the engineer wood floors you can so if you want to put it over your basement floors, you can. As long as you don't have a water issue, then I would use vinyl. You can put engineer wood floor in your basement. So that's a really good thing. That's why I like engineer wood floors. If you get a really good grade and you put it down, once you put it down, you can, almost can't tell the difference between regular wood, the hardwood wood floors and engineer floors. They're very similar. You can't tell once it's down. So it, it's... um. It, it holds up its resale value pretty good. The cons is, like I said, it can't be restained. Sometimes if you get a lower grade of engineer wood, it does look um, fake and it can be noisy because it is a floating floor. So keep that in mind. I think some of these engineer wood floors now come with a cork backing. So a lot of that noise reduction might be eliminated. But, you know, um, it all depends uh, on the flooring, it, it depends on the quality. So keep that in mind as well. These are some of the options with floorings. Each one has its place. Um, obviously, I would not put wood, real wood in the basement. I would put vinyl. Carpets are great in the bedroom. I probably would not put them in the living room because of the stain and everything else. You might want to use an area rug for that. Ceramic tile is great, but, and so is porcelain and stone. But again, you have to worry about the grout. That's something maybe um, you could put in the hallway. But again, you always have to deal with that great grout no matter where you are. I know most people put them in their in their kitchen and they put them in their bathrooms and they're great because they do clean up really easy just from, don't forget to seal the grout um, and that will alleviate a lot of the problems so I think that is it for now I hope you enjoyed that uh, stay tuned for my next video I'll post it again next week um, I will give you um, heads up when I'm posted. I was thinking about doing maybe countertops, but if anyone has a suggestion, please post it uh, below and I'll take that into consideration. I'd love to hear any of your design uh, dilemmas. And if you um, want to know more about my services and how I work, feel free to contact me. I'd love to sit down and chat with you and get to know you better and see what your design dilemma will be, maybe. Um, that's it for now. Thank you so much for being kind and patient and uh, listening to me. I hope you learned something. Have a great day, everyone.